Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sunkara. Dear students class, <coughs> once again, so this is also a case law, a decided case law on the concept of reasonableness. So this is case law, please remember. Messrs. Dwarka Prasad Lakshmi Narayan. Messrs. Dwarka Prasad Lakshmi Narayan and others versus State of Uttar Pradesh and two others, 1954. So this is also regarding the coal order, the issuance of the coal order. So to begin with, Messrs. Dwarka Prasad, Lakshmi Narayan and others, actually they are the sellers of coal at Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh, right? So actually <clears throat> they were dealing with the selling of the coal, you may be knowing different types of coal will be there. Hard coke, steam coke, soft coke, then uh, uh, steam coke, 20% uh, uh, the coke will be there. Anyway, the tax for the same is 20%. And please remember, these licensing authorities actually suddenly, no doubt, as per the delegated legislation, collector is the licensing authority. Actually, uh, coal is an essential commodity as per section 3 of the Essential Commodities Act. Right? This much you know. And these people, they are dealing with the selling of the coke. They are, they are having the license to transport the coke from the so-called coal mines, then dispose them or sell them. So, suddenly, during the year 1953, they have brought the district magistrate or the collector, they have brought a control order. It's called as Coal Control Order of 1953. Right? So, making or reducing the prices of the coke to 20%. Prices of the coke, they were suddenly brought to 20%. And they have also cancelled the petitioner's license. This happened in year February 1953. So, here the important point is giving notice to the other party. Same thing, just like our Vijay Rao case. So, the constitutional validity of the Uttar Pradesh coal control order has been challenged in the court by Lakshmi Dwarka Prasad, Lakshmi Narayan and others. Because the declaration of prices made in the coal order 1953, so and also cancelling the petitioner's license is arbitrary, one-sided, no inquiry was conducted. Simply to say this is basing on the principles of natural justice. So please remember. So the allegation or the contention by the Dwarka Prasad Rishnanathas is the provision of the coal order gives an unfettered and unguided discretion to the licensing authority. Because the coal control order says uh, if the collector pleases, uh, he can revoke the license. If the collector pleases, he can grant the license. He can uh, collect, he can renew the license. So they have given unfettered uh, so-called discretionary power. So definitely it is uh, a violative of Article 19.1G, freedom of trade and profession. So therefore, <coughs> Supreme Court held that. Before making an order or before making any changes in the prices, please remember you have to hold a meeting with the stakeholders, you have to inform them about the possibility and if you uh, give the order, it's okay. But without doing the same, simply, very arbitrarily, without consulting the other party, without uh, giving a chance to the other party for a hearing, that is already all time part time you cannot raise the prices like that. So, the charges made against uh, the uh, that to regarding the cancellation of the license. So, there should be some reason for cancellation of the license, is it not? So, because he is misbehaving or because he has raised the prices or he has not taken care of the customers, all these things, because of the reasons, uh, we are cancelling your license. Even for that also, they have to give him a notice. They have to hear the other side. Then only they have to cancel the license. But uh, the charges made against him are very vague. They are indefinite. And uh, therefore, it is held that the order is made with ulterior object of uh, driving the petitioner and others uh, from the coal business. Therefore, please remember, 
so there is no reasonableness in this particular order idan mad so actually ee dwarka prasad villanta charcoal suppliers <coughs> kanpur lo so villa baidi bombadaniki collector garu coal order 1953 ani iskochi dan prakara okka sari rate lu taggi chesaru 20% rate lu taggi chadu daniki ammale okay at the same time villa sariga cheyaledani license cancel chesaru ఈ లైసెన్స్ క్యాన్సిల్ చేసినప్పుడు అట్లీస్ట్ దే హ్యావ్ టు ది కలెక్టర్ అదర్ సైడ్ కి నోటీస్ ఇవ్వాలి కదా ఆడియో ఆల్టర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇవ్వకుండా స్ట్రైట్ అవే బేసింగ్ ఆన్ ది కోర్ ఆర్డర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీ త్రీ దానిలో ఉన్నటువంటి తనకు ఉన్నటువంటి అన్ఫెక్టెడ్ అన్ గైడెడ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఉపయోగించి హ్యాపీ డిస్క్రిప్షన్ ఉపయోగించి ఐఎమ్ సాటిస్ఫైడ్ దట్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ డూయింగ్ ది బిజినెస్ కరెక్ట్లీ అని చెప్పి తీసి అవతల పడేశాడు సో ఇది నాట్ యాక్సెప్టెడ్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో రీజనబుల్ లెస్ so law should be reasonable you have to follow the principles of natural justice that to it should not violate article 191 of the constitution 191g like of the constitution of india therefore against to the so called state of up judgment and again the prabhutvani ke kop vastundi mana enta chesa manaku adhikaram undi kada aparatha adhikaram undi kada mana adhikaram ni villa varu challenge chestaru ante oppukoru because should be constitutional so it should be reasonable test of reasonableness so this concept is once again reiterated in this particular case dwarka prasad messers actually ms untundi dwarka prasad lakshmi narayan others versus the state of up and to this 1954 please read the case law and i wish you all the best with this i am stopping thank you very much